Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Audrey here, the fit, fearless and faithful mom. If you're new to me, I post homeschool videos every Monday. Every Wednesday, I post faith videos. I'd love for you to give this video a thumbs up. Tap that subscribe button so that you can join me and my community in the future. And don't forget, free one hour homeschool tutoring courtesy of homeschool-teacher.com. Com. So happy to be partnering with them. So go check them out for all your homeschool needs. Let's get into the video today, which is going to be the top 10 ways that I say productive, but without saying busy. So let's get into it. Here we go. So here we go with number one. My number one thing that I know a lot of people use day planners and big old planners, but I can't I can't get into it the way that I think everyone else does. So here is how I use a big old thick planner. I use it for my food prep because, and that's really my number one to focus on because I have a family to feed. And so what I do is I map out a month's worth of food in advance. I write down the page number or the recipe or the Pinterest post where I found a recipe, I write down the ingredients that I'll need and that's how I do my grocery shopping and having it a month in advance and what specific days I'm going to be cooking that food has really been a game changer. I really enjoy bulk cooking as well because with bulk cooking, then I don't have to cook as often, right? I can just take something out, I can defrost it, and then we can move on with our day because throughout the week, we do have sports, we do have other engagements that we are part of, and so I I can't be cooking every single day. And plus, who wants to do that? Nobody wants to do that. So the planner that I use is from the Whole Catholic Living Shop. This planner is amazing because it honestly keeps me engaged and linked in to our liturgical feast days as well, which is wonderful. And it also helps with keeping me in line with other holidays and so forth. So check this planner out. It's really good. You can get a hard copy or a digital copy. So that's the only thing that I really use a planner for. Like that's it. So you're wondering like, okay, where do you keep track of everything else and all the other engagements? Well, another thing that I do to keep me on task is using Widget Smith. And I learned about Widget Smith back in October or so. And it's, it's a way that you can really streamline your home screen on your phone so that you're not getting bogged down by looking at all these different apps. And so you'll see here on the screen that I have the weather, I have my little color app, I have Asana, which is the main productivity app that I use. And then I have my calendar so I can see, hey, what's coming up in the current day? And then I can tap on it and see what is going to be coming in the week as well. So this home screen makes me not look at the rest of the stuff, which leads me into the schedule. What other stuff am I talking about? Text messages, emails, social media. Because they are not on my home screen, I don't I don't want to swipe and I don't want to look through the different folders that they are in. Now, let's start talking a little bit about schedule and what I do for our schedule. Well, I wake up around 4.30, 5 o'clock. That, that's kind of been my norm lately. And I have a system that I roll through throughout the day. You can take a look at the scheduling a, a pro video that I have done to see how I actually go about my day. I'll actually be taking you through my day here in another video. I use a program that is called Asana. And with Asana, what you can do is you can create different boards. So I have a board for YouTube, for Teachers Pay Teachers, Etsy, Color Street, my home. And these are project boards. And what I'll do is I'll say, okay, what needs to be done? What's in progress? What needs to be finished? So with our home projects, I have certain things that I've been wanting to do around the house, different like paint touch-ups and whatnot. And I'll put, okay, what do I need to do for caulking, for painting, for washing the windows even? When it comes to YouTube, I have a column for homeschool, faith, homemaker, miscellaneous, and I'll input those ideas. 
Then I'll move those ideas into the to be filmed column. Then I'll move them to the edited column. So I keep track of all my projects like that. You can also do a task manager. So things like calling the doctor, going to the dentist, you can also put into this program and at the beginning of the week or throughout the week, however long you want, you can actually set different reminders for yourself. So let's say I need to call the doctor tomorrow. I can set a reminder, yes, in my calendar that I have on my phone, but I can also set it as a task in Asana. I will get an email about it and then when I sign on to Asana, a little message will pop up and say, hey, have you called the doctor yet? So it's a really great way to keep all of my appointments, my to-dos, my to-don'ts, all in one spot. Another great feature about this program is that my husband and I can also toggle between our private businesses that we have and the businesses that we have together and also our home life of a business, if you will, as well. So if we are doing travel plans, we have a separate portion of that that he and I can share and we are collaborators on it. So I'll toggle over that and I'll see, oh, he just put an idea in here. Or I can go into our companies and the businesses that we own and I can see, oh, this project is going on. That's what he was talking about when he had called. Great, I see what you're talking about. And so you can collaborate with your spouse or with a friend, and you can also do this through the free version. So there's a free version, and then there is a business version. My husband with what he does, he has the business version. I just have the free version, and it works just fine for me right now. And what's pretty fun is when you finish, a when you finish a task it actually there's like a little unicorn there's this little like goblin that says good job and it like flies away it's pretty funny but asana honestly is one of my number one task managers now let's say like i'm on the treadmill or i'm on a run i'm obviously not going to open asana and so what do I do? Well, I make myself a note on my phone. I say, hey Siri, make a note to do this, this, and this. And so if I know that a couple notes have piled up on my phone, what I'll do is every couple days, I'll go into my notes and I'll move those notes into Asana to make sure that everything is all in one spot. So it's a great program. I can't say enough about it. Now, homeschool life. I schedule three weeks out in advance. I used to write out all of our lesson plans and put things in a binder and put things in a book. I do not do that anymore. What I do is I use another online software program called Homeschool Tracker. And I've been using this for several years. What I do is as soon as I get a new curriculum in, I'll sit down, I'll input all of the lessons at the pace that I know we can go at comfortably. And then it'll be completely set within the program itself. That way when I'm ready to schedule, I just pull out those lesson plans and I plunk them into the calendar. Instead of having to hand write everything, that takes time. I plug and chug and put it out into, into the calendar and then I can move it so much easier. For example, there are those two weeks that we had taken off in November. I had to move everything. Now think about if I had written everything out, did I really have to move everything around? No, but I like associating the dates with the assignment. And so come December, when we picked up our assignments again, I'd be looking at November and well, as an OCD type A person, I don't want to look at that. I want to see, okay, December 5th, what are we doing? How are we doing it? When are we going to do it? I don't want to have to look back at November. And so the reschedule tool is wonderful. You can schedule multiple children. I can print off all their assignments for the week and it has a checkbox. And so once I print off all of the assignments, I can just give it to my student and then they can read their assignments for the day and then they can check it off as they go. So homeschool tracker is a must for homeschoolers. Right, here we go. Number seven is laundry. I only do laundry three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, maybe, and then like Saturday, Sunday-ish. I might like tidy up laundry on a Sunday. 
but I do not do this like I'm only doing whites on this day or colors on this day or this. No, I do all the laundry at once. I start it as soon as I wake up in the morning. That way, by the time I'm done working out and done doing my prayers and the kids are ready for breakfast, I can change out that laundry. And then right before we start school, I can already start being folding laundry and by lunchtime laundry, it's pretty much done. Or I guess by, by the time school is done, laundry is done. And so they can wait two days to get their outfits. So Tuesday, Thursday, and then on the weekends is when we do laundry. Another thing that I do not do is I do not turn socks inside out. I do not fold underwear and I do not match socks. My kids don't wear matching socks anyway, so I'm not going to match them myself. And then they are quite capable to turn their own socks right side out, which is a really big time saver. Number eight, paper and clutter. I don't want a lot of paper. Everything that we have gets scanned into a program called Cam Scanner. You can turn everything into a PDF and then we just put it into documents on a document folder on our computer. It's how we operate our businesses and it's how I'm starting to operate my homeschool. So instead of keeping all of the tests from the kids and so forth, what I do is I take a picture of it in Cam Scanner and I put it in a little folder. And what's great about this is that then if the state asks, I can just send them a complete file. Because think about it, like the school system doesn't keep all of these tests and all these documents and things like that. And so I'm not either. Now, when it comes to different writings and different papers, our daughter wants to keep all of the handwritten stuff, which I don't blame her. Yeah, sure, you can you can keep that, but I don't wanna keep a lot of papers. So when I do bills each month or, you know, I have medical bills, we have, we have had a lot of medical bills this year. And so I scan it and everyone has their own individual folder. And within that folder, it's the, different tests or the different medical need and so forth. And that is how I stay organized with all of our papers and all of our clutter because it does become clutter. I mean, who wants paper? Who wants to be organizing all that? But the basic version of cam scanner works out just fine. It really does. If you're doing some heavy duty stuff, if you own your own business, then go ahead and get the pro version. But the basic version, the free version works out just fine. Just download it to your phone. Number nine, enlist the kids, enlist your family into helping. I do not do a chore chart. I do not do stickers or anything like that. We are in this together. We are a family. This is our homestead in a light way. And so everyone pitches in, everyone helps. The dishwasher needs to be unloaded, let's do it. Clothes needs to be brought from the laundry room, let's do it. Groceries needs to be unloaded. We are all a team, we operate on a team mentality. And so that, that's how we keep we keep things going. I don't I don't want to, it, thinking about a short chart, that is just something else that I need to think about and I just don't want to. So that's a no-go for us with short chart. Number 10, my productivity tip 10, is to say no. And I'm really bad at this because I want everyone to be happy and I want there to be sunshine and rainbows all the time. And so I have a hard time saying no, but as a way to be more, more productive is to just say no to things. And it's okay to say no to things. It, it really is okay to say no. If you ask me to do something, I will generally say yes. And I say yes to myself and I actually talk myself into doing things. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I have plenty of time. Yeah, sure, I have plenty of time. But how productive are you actually being if you're taking on a tremendous amount of stuff that probably doesn't need to be done anyway? Streamline what you're doing. Streamline. So we'll kind of wrap this up in a little bow. And what are you trying to accomplish each day? First, like God, family, everything else. So taking care of your spiritual life is number one. But then take care of like your fitness and your marriage and then your kids and your home and your job and all of that and everything else is just laying out. Learn to say no to a lot of different stuff and you'll You'll see how much more productive you can be. All right, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your top productivity 
hacks are and I'd love to chat about it with you. And don't forget for all of your homeschool tutoring needs, go to homeschoolteacher.com. That's homeschool hyphen teacher that come click the link in the description box below they would love to help you out give this video a thumbs up tap that subscribe button and i will catch up with you next time in another video take care friends bye